I did all the morning dew off. There's a bit of fog out this morning, so it's everything really wet and slippery. Uh, this is the first fishing trip of the whole year, so it's gonna be a start of a whole new season of fishing, and we're pretty stoked. I think today we're gonna be mostly doing stuff like trolling and whatnot, but um, that means we can catch some really large fish. So hopefully all the keen mackerel and all the sailfish and all that stuff will be out today. We're not gonna be out super long today. Uh, it's more of just like a half day trip. We'll probably probably come back around 12 o'clock. Um, the goal is just to do some trolling up and down the shore. Uh, there haven't been any king mackerels this year yet, but supposedly this is the week or a weekend that they're gonna come in and they're just gonna come in in droves. So hopefully we can catch uh, a good amount of king mackerel. But trolling is just kind of hit and miss, but yeah, it's such a pretty day. I'm kind of, I'm pretty confident that um, the fish will be, be active and hungry. So hopefully today we catch the big one. Sadly, I'm not gonna be able to do any fishing today. I was um, learning how to rollerblade, but I sprained my wrist pretty bad. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to reel in the big ones today. So I'll be, I'll be cameraman. I'm just excited though. It's been such a long time since we've been out fishing. It's gonna be a beautiful day, nice and sunny out, nice and warm, and hopefully we'll catch some big fish. So I'm just excited to come along for the ride. Yes, sir. Hey, puppy. Man, I can't believe how flat it is this morning. Just glass calm. As you guys know, we can get pretty trotted out here with fishing boats. But today there's hardly any, so we basically have the place to ourselves. We made it out to the flat, sandy spot, so now all we have to do is catch bait fish. All right, we have some fish showing up here on the finder. They're about halfway down, probably about 10 feet. But the visibility this morning isn't very good, so we can't, we don't have a visual on them yet. Asher's getting um, some gold hooks rigged up just to see what kind of bait fish they are. And then once we bring them up to the surface, we'll use our new our new net, the valley hoop. And um, hopefully we can scoop up a whole bunch. We need to get the bait All right, no bites yet. No bites? No, it's still showing up or down there. About halfway down. About 10 feet down. Yeah. You want me to throw it back there? Yeah, just throw it back there. It's to off to the side. What's the prop? That's steam, eh? It's empty. Huh. Yeah, I think we need the fish actually on the surface. Yeah. No bait fish, so we're gonna try trolling now. Yeah, they don't call me Captain Asher for nothing. All right, the waves are coming. The waves are serious. So the radio is used for communication. It's a communication device. It's very important. Wow. Okay. I see you. There's one, we're gonna put the king. You want this on one of the big ones? Yeah, one of the big ones.
we're gonna need a bell if we catch anything. Six or seven. Um, so, I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Uh, I don't see it in here. Hey, Grandpa, do you know where the belt is? I was gonna say it should be in here. Yeah. So we use a we use a little belt. It's kind of like something you strap on to your midsection, and it has a little pole holder. So you stick the rod down in the pole holder, and it just gives you some extra leverage on the fish. Grandpa found it. It was down in it was down the head. Hopefully we catch something really big, and we'll have to use this. But um. In case we do, it's good to have it right on hand so that way we don't have to like run around on the boat trying to find it real quick while there's a big fish on the line. Yep. We have the two lines off, off the back end, so we just wait wait around until we hear that, that line start cranking out and then fish on. Being out in the water when it's kind of when it's kind of stormy like this and cloudy, it always brings back good memories of when we were on our, our sailboat, the Chandarawasi, our double canoe that we built back in Papua. We had so many fun adventures on that thing. And um, we had a lot of good times during some storms. It's right when we were we finished building our boat and we're trying to exit this bay called Chandrawasi Bay. And it was right during the storm season, so we're trying to get out of this giant bay. It's a massive bay. And we just got pounded by storm after storm. When we first the first time we were gonna exit, we had just got our spars and sails all like rigged up. It took a long time to, to tie them all together. And it was like midnight. And Morgan and I had just finished tying the last sail to the, to the bamboo spar and we were like, what are we doing? Let's, let's, let's get out of here, let's sail. We'll sail through the night. So we got our sails hooked up to the mast, got them all like pulled up and stuff. They're actually pretty heavy. We had some pulley systems though. So we pulled up our sails. Man, we launched, it was beautiful. The stars were out. It was probably about like one o'clock. Uh, at night, or I guess early morning. Oh my goodness, started getting rough. Stars started getting clouded over by these massive clouds and we're like, oh, we're in for a big storm. Boom, it was like lightning and rain and sure enough, it was just one of those evening storms. Whew. First night, yeah, it was the first night we were already on our way out and our bamboo spar just snapped. It was so discouraging because we had just worked like all all that evening tying on these bamboo spars, but unfortunately there was a big ant nest in, in one of them. And so the ants had to kind of chewed away at the bamboo and it just weakened it. So when that big gale just came blasting through, the sail held, held up for a little while, but then boom, snapped. And we're just like, ah, oh, no. We got the sails down, the mizzen sail one of the spars actually snapped. And right now we're just sailing along with just the head sail up. And it's just horrible weather out. There's some huge swells, the boat's rocking, and things are just sliding around everywhere. We're just trying to wave it out. Dad's at the home steering us at the moment, so I'm keeping an eye on it. So, unfortunately, we're all discouraged and we had to, we were beat. We had to sail back and, and anchor again. And, wait for the next morning to fix that spar again. That's what's nice about using natural resources. Like um, our spars were bamboo, so it broke, but next morning we just, we already had a bunch of bamboo with us. We just lashed on a new spar and made it out the next day. Kept on sailing. Good times, good times. Well, we have the perfect bait and the, we're trolling at the perfect speed. The weather in sea stays perfect. It's no fish. That happens sometimes. Just not hungry today or just not around. We'll keep going up and down and hopefully sometime soon. Got some seaweed. Excited. We made some sushi out of this. I guess that drag so long, there's probably nothing on here, but um It's interesting. I wonder if this is kinda like kelp, because on kelp they have these little air pockets trapped inside of these little seed like things. So I wonder I think it's the same principle. It kinda keeps it floating towards the surface. That's sargasm. Huh? Sargasm. 
sargasm. You can tell. The little air pockets? Yeah, the little, they're, that's, they're like little booties. Oh, okay, yeah. It's called sargasm. Okay. The old sargasm. Here, The mage of the jetty is it's basically just this big rock structure that keeps all the waves and swells from the shore. But um, it's a good spot for um, the fish to hang around. But it's almost noon, so we'll probably head in here in a little bit. It's our last chance. Better make it worth it. We'll just fish here for a little bit, see what's biting, and then probably head home. Here's the Daniel Webster Clemens. My dad used to work, work on this sailboat. It's a tourist boat, man, it's super cool though. Check it out. Before my dad went on the mission field, he used to captain that boat. It just takes tourists out on little pleasure cruises, but super sweet. Nothing, nothing better than a sailboat. This little tiki house is so cheesy. Just a little floating hut, basically. A little floating bar. It's like the most non-aerodynamic vessel I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, we're fishing, man. Uh, actually, the boat's right behind you. Go for it. So, speak up. The, wait. Oh. Um, what? We should kick on the boat in there, though. No. Like oh, I'm just in the shade, actually. Alright, I'm rolling, man. So, we didn't necessarily have a happy ending today. We didn't catch anything. It was actually, I think, the only day that we've never caught a single living creature, not even a minnow. So, but we still had a lot of fun, and today it was great getting out. Like, we, like we said at the beginning, this is the first day, fishing day of the whole year. So, we haven't been out in the water in months. So, it's really nice just to. Get our sea luds again, enjoy the sunshine, you know, grandpa. So it's been a it's been a productive good day, but um, we didn't bring back any fish this time. So I guess we'll all just become vegans or something because there's no meat. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.